Have you ever seen a power pole with a battery on the top of it? Well, you probably will soon. Because this idea is so good, I can see it catching on in many countries around the world. The first place to do it, as far as I'm aware anyway, is New South Wales in Australia. In fact, the first batteries have just been installed on top of power poles about 20 kilometers away from where I live. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans. And if you're interested in where I live, well, that's how you can actually find out. Osgrid has installed its first power pole mounted batteries in New South Wales. Now, remember the grid, sometimes it gives away energy for free because it has too much energy coming from solar or from wind or various other things. And it needs to kind of get rid of some of that energy. That's have been happening in Europe fairly regularly recently. In fact, sometimes the grid will pay you to use its energy. Now, this is one other solution, right? In Australia, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people are installing solar panels on their roofs. Now, the cost of solar has never been cheaper. Solar systems are incredibly efficient and they're only getting better so more people are installing it and they're installing big systems now not the smaller ones they used to do i'm talking like big 10 kilowatt hour systems what that means is sometimes in some places there's just too much energy however if there are batteries in on installed on top of power poles then the grid itself can store that excess energy and sell it back to you or to someone else i think it's i think it's a great idea RenewEconomy.com.au reports that Osgrid, the largest electricity distributor on Australia's east coast, says it has installed the first power pole mounted battery in the Hunter Valley city of Maitland. The installation is the first step in a trial of the technology designed to investigate the viability of such batteries in supporting the large networks in major cities during peak demand or high solar export times. Osgrid hopes that this trial will complement its larger community battery program. Three EcoJoule energy battery units were installed at the top of the power pole, with two more pole top battery systems to be installed in Newcastle and on the Central Coast. Both of these places, by the way, are in Australia. Osgrid Executive General Manager of Asset Management, Junaid Hollis, believes that such pole top battery systems could avoid the need for more extensive network augmentation that would otherwise be necessary to address network constraints. Pole top batteries will play a crucial role in integrating more renewable energy into the grid, said Hollis. They can store excess energy generated during periods of high production and release it during times of low production or high demand. The system will provide localized energy storage and grid support, helping to support more efficient and reliable electrical infrastructure while facilitating the transition in Australia to net zero. Australia plans on hitting 90% renewable energy as a percentage of our energy mix by 2030. This is one of the ways I think we can get there. According to the EcoJewel website, the pole mounted Eco Store is a 30 kVA 60 kilowatt hour community energy storage system that can provide extensive grid support features. These include community storage, voltage support, peak load reduction, virtual power plant services, and battery state of charge management and life optimization. And this gets me to my crux here. People say Tesla is just a car company. Does just a car company install mega pack batteries under its charging stations in order to suck up free excess energy from the grid and sell it back at a price probably 10 times normal electricity prices to car owners when they stop and charge. Not just Tesla owners, General Motors EV owners, Ford EV owners, Rivian EV owners, probably everyone else EV owners eventually. Now that, my friends, is the future. Big batteries, not just these small ones on the power poles, but big ones under the ground, sucking up this excess free or possibly being paid by the power company to take their energy and they're selling it back to other people. That is genius. So are these power poles. I love both of those ideas. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you for watching.